Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Just want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day today for all the mothers out there. And to my mom, happy birthday to her. You know, she's no longer with me, but she's still with me in spirit. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday to all the mothers out there. Anyway, um, on Mother's Day, uh, this is actually a game from April 12th, April 13th of and there were, uh, 1970. And there were only four games going on. Um, this looks like a good matchup, and I realized I hadn't done Catfish Hunter yet. So Catfish Hunter is on the hill for the um, athletics, and uh, he is eighteen. He was eighteen and fourteen in nineteen seventy, and um, he'll be going up against Marty Patton, who I remembered from being on the Royals, although he was on the Red Sox also, um, but. Uh, here he's with the Milwaukee Brewers, and he was 14 and 12 uh, with Milwaukee in 1970. So I figured this would be a good pitching matchup, being as not many games going on today in the actual uh, actual day of being uh, April 13th. So without further ado, let's get this game underway. So Catfish Hunter on the hill here. He's got a record of 1 and 0 so far. He won his first start. Um, take a look at that. So he won his first start against the lowly Royals. Um, pitched seven innings, let up five hits, just one run. It wasn't earned. Um, four walk, five walks, and four strikeouts uh, to get his first victory in his first start. All right. So the lineup he'll be going up against for the Milwaukee Brewers, the new Milwaukee Brewers, these are the Seattle Pilots, now the Milwaukee Brewers will be Tommy Harper. Uh, let's take a look at the standings, actually, too. So, so far, the Milwaukee Brewers are 2-4, and four, and the Athletics are 3-1. and one. Uh, Athletics lost their last game to the Minnesota Twins, who are still undefeated at 3-0. and oh. So, all right, so Tommy Harper will lead it off. He's hitting 357 with three homers, six runs batted in. Nick, and he'll play uh, second base. Next up is the center fielder, Rush Schneider. Steve Hubley is the right fielder batting third. Batting cleanup is Danny Walton, the left fielder. Mike Hegan, the first baseman, will hit fifth, followed by Jerry McNurtney behind the plate. Batting seventh is Max Elvis, the third baseman, the light-hitting Max Elvis. Batting eighth is Ted Kubiak the shortstop, and batting ninth on the hill is going to be Marty Patton. All right, so that's the lineup for the Milwaukee Brewers against Catfish Hunter. So here we go. Rolling our own dice using our dice tower. And the first roll is going to be a 401. And that's going to be a ground out to short. And just to let you guys know, too, that this series, uh, the 1970 replay, I'm going to be posting every game of this on the Delphi forums in the Skeetersoft uh, MP3 forum. We'll right next to King Icky Boost 1980 series and Clinton Park's 1965 series, all using MP3. And there are a few other uh, cool series going on um, using MP this MP3 um, engine. So, all right. So, next up will be. So, he'll ground up to short. Next up is Rush Schneider. He comes in hitting just 167 off to a slow start. Still looking for his first homer in RBI. And he will not get it here. As he'll ground up to short also. So, Campanaris busy so far. Seeing him. First two ground outs. Next up is Steve Hudley. Hubbley hitting 308 with two runs batted in. And he also rolls a 1-6. And that's going to be a third straight ground out to short. So Campanaris busy there in the first. So it's Brewers nothing. Athletics coming up. Marty Patton on the hill. Marty Patton lost his first decision. He pitched a complete game. Allowing seven hits, striking out eight, and walking none. He had a final outing, uh, allowing three runs, but came up on the 
short end of the stick. And we'll take a look at that. So there we go. We'll take a see if we can. Uh, yeah, actually, we can't from here, but that's okay. So that was his first outing against the Angels, which he came out on the losing side. So hopefully, he could fare better today. In the actual game, the Athletics beat the Brewers two to nothing. So for the uh, Oakland Athletics, it's going to be Burt Campanaris hitting just 118 with an RBI. He'll be followed by Rick Monday in left uh, in center field, batting second. Batting third is Felipe Alou, and these used to be the Kansas City Athletics, now the Oakland Athletics. Yeah, well, Felipe Alou in left field. Batting cleanup off to a fast start is Reggie Jackson in right field. Batting fifth is Don Mitchell, the first baseman. Dick Green is the second baseman. Batting sixth. Roberto Pena is at short, batting seventh. Batting eighth behind the plate is Frank Fernandez. And on the mound, batting ninth is the good hitting Catfish Hunter. Whoop, we dropped our die already. One thing about rolling your own dies, you'll drop it occasionally. All right, so Burt Campanaris, like you said, hitting just 118 in 19 plate appearances with one RBI. Patton looks in for the sign from Mc, McNertney. Nods his head, here's the delivery. It's going to be a 1 4. Do an error check. And that's going to be a fly out to left. Where Walt will make the catch for out number one. So Monday up now. Monday hitting just 188. Looking for his first homer in RBI. And we'll not get it here as he also flies out to left. So that'll bring up Felipe Alou. Hitting just 200. With, looking for his first RBI. Two six. And he'll ground out to the first baseman, Hegan, who will take it to the bag himself to end the inning. So both teams go in order in the first. So the story for the Athletics so far has been their pitching. As you can see by their first three hitters in their lineup not hitting very well. So Catfish Hunter back on the hill. He'll face Walton, Hegan, and McNerty. Walton hitting just 120 with a home run in RBI. Delivery by Hunter. And he'll strike him out. So the first K of the day for Catfish. His fifth of the season. So that'll bring up Mike Hegan now. Mike Hegan hitting just 125. So neither team hitting that well so far. The first top of their lineups. So he'll ground out the second for out number two. So that'll be McNerty. McNerty hitting just 182. Does have two solo home runs. And has a chance at a third solo home run here. And possibility here. 11 through 42. You get a 41. So 11 through 26 will be a homer. And he will not get it as he was a 54 here. But he does have a double, so a two out double for McNerty. That was a wall scraper there. Bidding for his third home run. It was not to be. So that brings up the light hitting Max Elvis, and Max Elvis really struggling on the season. Hitting just an 0 45 in 23 plate appearances. Chance for his first RBI if he can get a base hit here. And he's going to roll an 11. And another 11. So he's got a homer. So light hitting Max Elvis homers to make it a 2 nothing Brewers lead. So not very much chance of that happening. But he does as Max Elvis. I'm just going to check something here. I'll be right back. So he hit just 183 with three home runs 
1970, his last season. But he was known to hit. He had over 20 home runs. I think it was three times, 20 in the early 60s, early to mid-60s. So he did have some power. This was just not a great offensive season from in his last season. But he does connect here. So 2 nothing Brew Crew now. That'll bring up Ted Kubiak. So Catfish hung that one. And Elvis did not miss it. So Kubiak up now hitting 240 with a home run, two runs. Right here. That's going to be 5 4. And that'll be a fly out to right. So that'll do it for the Brewers, but they do score two on the two run homer by Elvis, and it's 2 0 Brew Crew. I'm sure they weren't called the Brew Crew yet, but. All right, Reggie Jackson up now. I've said Reggie Jackson off to a great start so far. Hitting 429 with three homers and five runs batted in. To face Patton here in the second, and it'll be Jackson, Mitchner, and Green. So here's the pitch. And he just misses his pitch here. Gets a 1 2. So almost hit a triple there. I think that would have been a triple. Either a double or a triple there. But he will instead will ground out to second. So Harper will handle that one for out number one. So Michener up now. Michener four for ten so far, hitting four hundred with a homer and four runs batted in. And he'll fly out to right. And Hubley will make the catch for out number two. So two up and two down for the Athletics in the second. Brings up Dick Green. Hitting two fifty with a homer and two runs batted in. And he flies out to left while Walton make the catch to end the inning. It remains 2 nothing after 2. And a 2 run homer by Max Elvis. So let's see what the Brewers can do here in the third off Hunter. Patton will lead it off. Patton is. I'm going to check that out here. He's got on base. He's got an average of 1,000. So let's see what that is. Uh, she just one for one. That's what I thought it was. One for one with a walk. And not sure exactly how you do. You hit by pitch. One official at that. I think he made a late sacrifice down. That was it, probably. And also walked. So, patent perfect so far this season. Threes. And this time, he'll strike out. So one down now for top of the order, Harper. He grounded the short his first time up. As did everybody in the first. They all grounded the Campaneers. And this time, he'll draw the walk. See if he steals here. He is among the leaders in stolen bases. And he'll steal one here. So let's take a look at Harper. Harper is already, let's see here, stolen three. This is his fourth stolen bases. He has yet to be caught. So Harper's off to a good start in 1970. Gets in the scoring position with one down for Rush Schneider. Except he's down to the short also. And this time he'll strike out. Oh. So two down now for Steve Hubley. See if he can get the run home and increase that Brewer crew Brewer lead. And he cannot as he grounds out to second. So that'll do it. So it's after two and a half, it remains two nothing. Painting up to the plate now. <clears throat> Painting uh, just his second plate appearance of the season. And he'll fly out to right. And Hubley will have it for out number one. So Fernandez up now. Fernandez hitless so far. It's not reached yet. Or I should did reach once. So he's 0 for 12. Well, 12 paid appearances. And he must have walked a couple. Probably, I'm guessing, 
I'm guessing three times there. Let's check that out just uh, out of curiosity's sake. Yeah, there's a lot. Three times, three out of 12. Struck out four times. There we go. Four, six. Oops. I remember to click in the box there. And he'll strike out to end the inning. Oh, actually, two outs now. The Catfish Hunter. Catfish Hunter is a pretty good hitting pitcher. As you can see, he's got an on base percentage of 215, which isn't great, but a slugging of 300, which is high for a pitcher. Let's see what he does here. And he'll ground out back to his counterpart. We'll flip it to Hegan to end the inning. So up to three full, it remains two nothing Brewers. And we have Danny Walton. Struck out his first time against Hunter. And he'll strike out again. So that's four Ks on the day for Catfish. Brings up Mike Hegan. Brown the second, his first time up. And he'll pop it up to third. And Haney will make the catch for out number two. And a bit McNurton, he doubled his first time up. Came around on the Elvis two-run homer. And this time he'll pop up the third where I'll uh, Haney will make another catch to end the inning. So Patton's grade is reduced to a C now. He's C now with YZ and DP minus modifiers. So Campanaris up now. He's been busy in the fields today. Flew out to left his first time up. He'll lead it off for the athletics here in the fourth who have yet to have a base runner. So that's going to be a ground out for out number one. Grounds out to third. So Monday up now. Monday flew out to left his first time up. And he'll ground out back to Patton. We'll flip it over to Hegan for out number two. So that'll bring up Felipe Alou. Ground it out to Felipe for his first time up. And this is going to break up the no-hitter and possibly break up the shutout. So Felipe Alou, let's see what happens here. 5-3. And he's going to get himself a double. So the no-hitter through... Three and two thirds is broken up. That brings up Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson with a chance that he could tie it up with one swing in the bat. Or he does have three home runs on the season. So Pat looks in for the sign. It's back to the runner. There's a delivery. And he strikes him out. So big strike out there for Patton as he lets up his first hit of the game, a double. We'll head to the fifth. Still 2 nothing Brewers. So Elvis up to the plate now. He put the Brew Crew on the board with a two-run homer his first time up. And this time he grounds out to short. And his Campanaris will handle it for out number one. So Kubiak up now. Flew up to left his first time up. And he'll fly up to right. So two down now. Patton struck out his first time up. Strikes out again. So that'll end the inning. So halfway through, it's two nothing Brewers. Patton back out there. He'll face Michener. Or are we Michener, Green, and Pena? Michener flew up to right his first time up. Flies out to right again. Green up now. Green flew up to left. And strikes out this time. So three Ks now for Patton. So two quick outs here in the fifth. Brings up Pena. Flew up to right. And he'll get a hold of one here. This one's going to get down. And that's going to go to the wall, and Pena's going to have himself a two-out double. 
That brings up Frank Fernandez. He struck out his first time up. Fernandez does have some pop. Could tie it with one swing in the back. That will not. And flies out deep to center. Where Snyder will make the catch to end the inning. So after five full, it's Brewers two and Athletics nothing. Hunter back out on the hill. Hunter has a C rating now with a Y and L modifiers. And seventh inning is his downgrade inning. Oh, just going to give up a deep fly here to Harper, and that one is gone. So Tommy Harper makes it a 3 nothing Brewer lead. That was no doubter on that one. So Rush Schneider up to the plate now. There is action in the athletic bullpen. So Snyder up now. Snyder over two. And he'll fly out to right. Over three. And Rhea Publi is grabbing it out twice. We'll reach this time though, I think. Nope. Pops it out. So it pops out the third to out number two. So here's Walton. Walton struck out twice against Hunter. And he'll ground out the third to end the inning. But Harper, Tommy Harper, adds a solo home run and makes it 3 nothing Brewers as we head to the sit, bottom of the sixth. And that is going to be it for Hunter. He's still a C rating, though, so I think, I think he still is, yeah. So we're going to leave him in. We're going to let him see if he can another bat. He is a good hitting pitcher. So we're going to let him hit here. Give him one more bat. And good thing we did is he's going to reward it. We're at his manager. With a double. So Catfish Hunter, a fast runner, has himself a double. So... Lead up front of the scoring position for Campy Campaneris. 0 for 2. And he's going to go around out. Flies out to center. Hunter will tag and make his way to third with one down. So Rick Monday, an RBI opportunity here, trying to get the athletics on the board. And it's going to be a fielder's choice. And oh my goodness, it. Hunter gets too far off the bag. It grounds it to short. And Kubiak is going to take it. And he's going to get in a rundown. So he's going to get in a rundown. So let's see here. So Kubiak has it. Fires to McNertney as Hunter was trying to score. Gets, goes in, gets in a rundown. And is tagged out by... Elvis. So Elvis has not left the building. Is tagged out. Hunter getting caught in a rundown, but he did stay long enough to get Monday to second. So I kind of like that's what I like about this game. It's got little things like that to make it realistic, which that is a realistic thing that's going to happen. So Hunter getting a little bit too aggressive there. Gets tagged out. So two down for the runner at second for Felipe Alou. Oh, one for two with a double. And he'll fly out to left, so Oakland cannot get on the board. And now Hunter's a D, so he'll be pulled out as soon as we get a runner on, probably. So he get up now. He got over two. And he'll ground out to short. Campanier, uh, Campanier will handle it for out number one. So McNertney, one for two with a double. And he grounds up the short also at 28. So Max Elvis. One for two with a two-run homer. And he grounds out 
to end the inning. So we head to the bottom of the seventh. Reggie Jackson been quiet so far today. Four for two. So the shutout for Patton still intact. And he's going to reach on a walk here. He will not attempt to steal. As you can see, he's got a good chance to steal, but he's also got a good chance to get thrown out. So he's going to play it safe. So, Andrew puts the brakes on for Jackson. Michener up now. He's flown out to right twice so far. And he's going to get himself a base hit here. So, two slow runners on now. So he won't be attempting any double steals here. So then we have Dick Green representing the tie run. He could tie it up with one swing in the bat. Already has a home run this season. So here we go. 4-1. And it is going to be a double play. So Michener I mean Green grounds into the 4-6-3 double play as Jackson advances to third. So it's just what Pat needed there. So Roberto Payne up now. One for two. The double. And he has got to fly out to right to end the inning. So, Athletics again cannot get on the board despite getting runners on first and second with nobody out. So we'll head to the eighth. Put your back out there. Kubiak is 0 for 2. So not many hits. The Brew Crew has only had three hits, but they made the most of it with two home runs. And Athletics with just four hits themselves. So he'll ground out to second for out number one. Patting up now. He's struck out twice so far. And he'll stay in there. Taking a shutout. So he flies out to left for out number two. He's up Harper. He homered his last time up. So he's one for two with a homer. Also walked once. And he's going to get himself a single. So his second hit of the day. And they are in the lead. So... He is going to try to get in the scoring position, trying to add on to that lead. Nope, he's going to get gunned down. So, Harper getting a little aggressive there. Trying to push the envelope, and that will end the inning. So, ahead to the bottom of the eighth, all goose eggs for the Athletics. It's 3 nothing. Patting back out there. It's going to be, let's see here, do we want to... Definitely going to pinch hit for Hunter, I think. Do we want to pinch hit for Fernandez? He's got a 327 on base percent. It's not bad, so a little bit of pop, so we'll let him hit. 3 5, 0 for 2 so far, though. And he's going to reach on an error. Arrow by Patton. Alright. Alright, so we're going to. Place. Hold on here, I'll be right back. Oops. Alright, so he's going to be lifted. Sal Bando was, came on as a pinch runner, even though he's just average. We're going to do the same. And he is not going to steal. And uh, Tito Francona, father of Terry Francona, came on the pinch hit. So he will come on. Oh, did we not change it? Ah, uh, I've been trying to put the uh, right hitters in there, but I forgot to put Francona in there. Oh, well. I'll have to remember to do that after this game is over. So, let's see here. No, they didn't use anybody else. So, so I've been trying to go by there. Uh, if I notice, if I go through the box scores and put them in, but I did not today. Okay. All right. No worries. Gene Tennis and Dave Duncan. Hmm. Gene Tennis. Dave Duncan. I think we're going to go with Gene Tennis. He, is, he has a 430. Uh, I can do a double switch here because he's a catcher. So Gene Tennis is going to come in to pinch hit here. All right, so Salbando so on first. Tennis up to the bat. Tennis has had one plate appearances and it's a one for one so far. And 
and he is going to you know, reach on the field of choice as Bando is out at second. Play it safe. So one down now for Bert Campanaris. He's 0 for 3. And he's going to reach here. So that is going to be it for Patton as Monday represents the tying run. All right, so it's going to be O'Donoghue who's going to come in. Uh, don't tell me I didn't do that either. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I've been battling the cold today, so bear with me. So just I got to do that. All right, not a big deal. All right, let's see who we can get in here. Put somebody similar to him in there. I think this guy might be just as good. Actually, I'm going to go. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to bring in Ken Sanders. I was thinking about. He is their closer. All right, so first and second. Tying run up to the plate with one down for Rick Monday. He's 0 for 3. Let's have a 387 on base percentage, 457 slugging. Here's the pitch. And he's going to, no, he takes the ball. One day does not walk that often. Oh, he's going to hit here, though. No, he's going to ground out. So Sanders is an A, I forgot. A, X, Z, H, D, P minus. So that is going to be a ground out to third. Runners will advance, but now with two down. So Felipe Alou up now. He's one for three in the day. The double. Oh, no. And Felipe Alou is going to connect here. So it's going to make it a lot closer. Three, four. And is he going to try to get in the scoring position? I think he's going to try. Two, one. So he does not reach. But a lot closer now as Felipe Alou gets a two-run single to make it a 3-2 game. Sanders so still out there facing the dangerous Reggie Jackson. Let him stay in. He's an A. So Jackson quiet today over two with a walk. And he will ground out the first with Sanders covering to end the inning. Alright, so let's do our double switch here. Hold on. Alright, Diego Segui, he touched in again. You know. I try to keep it as much as possible within the, who actually played, but situations are going to be different in each game, so I'm going to use judgment there too. I'm not going to put a, you know, a closer in with a 10-run lead or something like that, or, you know, or um, situation, I'm going to go by that too. Okay. So Diego Segui, you know, he is the closer. He's going to come in. He did pitch 162. He also started quite a bit too, so. Diego Segui is going to come in now. Okay, hold on. So Diego Segui is going to be the pitcher, since we're doing a double switch here. Um, okay. And hold on here. And tennis will be the catcher. Ugh, oh, come on, really? Change player. Oh, change position. That's why. All right, there you go. So tennis is in catching now. Double switch to Gee pitching. And it's a 3-2 game now. So Sagi will try to keep this a... And this would be a situation you would have been in, trying to hold the uh, one-run lead there. I mean, trying to keep it a one-run lead. So Schneider up now. Schneider 0 for 3. Oh, it's Snyder is going to connect here. It's going to be a 1 5. Oh, possible home run reduced to a double. And it's going to be reduced to a double, so it's going to be a wall scraper. But 
I'm in scoring position with nobody out. For Steve Hubley, Hubley 0 for 3. Snyder is a fast runner. And he's going to fly out. So he'll move to third. So we're going to be an infield in here. For Danny Walton. Walton 0 for 3. Nice have a 349 on base percentage. So we'll let him stay in here. New pitcher on the mound. So a sacrifice fly could get the run home. Run home. 5-6. And that's going to be a strikeout. That will not do it. So, two down now. So, he'll go, and we'll go back to normal with two down. Mike Key get up now. 0 for 3. And that will be it. As he flies out to right. So, it's still a 1-1 one -one game. Ken Sanders out there trying to nail it down. He did give up two runs. So Michener up there, it'll be Michener, Green, and Pena. Michener one for three on the day, single his last time up. And he will strike out. So we have Dick Green, Dick Green 0 for three on the day. He could tie it up with one swing in the bat though. Ooh, five, four. Ooh, would have liked to get that 1-1 one, one in the first roll, but did not. So, he's, oh, he's going to reach on an error, though. An error by the shortstop, um, Kubiak. He's going to play it safe. So, Green is going to reach. I guess we'll, oops, that's not how you do it. So we're going to put a fast runner in if we have one. Larry Haney. Backup catcher. Yeah, he didn't have that many plate appearances. Bob Johnson there. Bob W. Johnson is going to come in the pinch run for Green. Hmm. Do we want to have him try to get in a scoring position? Yeah, he's got a lot of chances of getting thrown out here. But I think the Athletics are going to play it aggressive. I'm going to try it here. Nope. Can I get a jump, though? So Johnson on. With one down. And Roberto Pena up now the shortstop. He doesn't strike out that much, so we're going to go with a hit and run. Yeah, very little. Sh so I'm going to try a hit and run here. Stay aggressive. Sanders looks in for the sign, looks at the runner. Here's the delivery. It's going to be a ground out, but that will advance the run in its scoring position. But now with two out. All right, so who do we want to pinch hit here now? Bobby Brooks. He's only had 19 plate appearances. We're going to be in Joe Rudy here. 375 plate appearances. 341 on base percentage. So Rudy on the pinch hit now. Representing the tying run in scoring position. Winning run up to the plate here. Although he does not have much power. He does have a good on base percentage here. So Sanders looks in for the sign. Looks at the runner. He has a delivery. And it's going to be a strikeout. So Joe Rudy strikes out and leaves the tying run in scoring position. So the Brew Crew will hold on and take win three to two. So good pitching battle as we thought it would be. Proves to be so in this game. So let's save it up here. And we're going to have a save for Patton. I mean, Sanders. Wasn't a, wasn't a pretty save, but he did let up two runs. Actually, those are going to be unearned runs. And they'll be charged to Patton anyway, so. Um, did let up a hit that scored the two runs. But we'll pitch a, the ninth and get a uh, 
get the save. All right, so let's see here. So three, two, and we'll go through the box score. Let's give Sanders a save. All right. So Sanders gets his second save. Patton gets his first win. Evening is reckoned at one and one. And Hunter will take the loss. It goes to one and one also. So Marty Patton, seven and a third innings, five just five hits, two runs, two both unearned. A walk and three strikeouts. And Sanders picks up his second save, pitches at eight and two thirds, allowing one hit, striking out two. So you can see the uh ERA of Patton and Sanders both under two, 165 and 169. Actually, the same thing with the uh, with the Athletics there. Hunter's ERA 1.80 and Sigi with no uh, no 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 runs against, no earned runs against anyway. So Hunter falls to one and one now. P pitches a great game, eight strong innings. They're probably the best pitching duel I've had so far. In this young season. So eight innings pitched, four hits, three runs, but all of them earned, one walk, five strikeouts. Did turn to two home runs though to uh, Harper and Elvis. As Elvis did leave the building. <laughs> all right, so Sagi pitches a scoreless inning on one hit, striking on a batter. All right, for the Brewers, Harper two for three with a run scored or a home run. Walked once and also stole a base. Was also caught stealing once. Schneider was 1 for 4 with a double. Hubley 0 for 4, as was Walton. As, and was Hegan, too. McNertney was 1 for 3 with that run scored in the double. Elvis was 1 for 3 with a 2 run homer, as we mentioned earlier. Kubiak and Patton both 0 for 3, and Sanders did not get a bat. For the Athletics, Campaneris was 1 for 4 with a run scored. Monday 0 for 4, Alou was 1 for 4, 2 for 4 with a double, and two runs batted in. Randy Jackson, quiet on the day, 0 for 3 with a walk. Michener 1 for 4. Green 0 for 4, Bob Johnson came as a pinch runner, not getting a bat. Pena was 1 for 4. With a double. Frank Fernandez 0 for 3. Salbando came in as a pitch runner, not getting that bat. Sagi did not get that bat. Rudy was 0 for 1. The strikeout. Catfish Hunter was 1 for 2 with a double. And Gene Tennis was. came in as a pinch hitter and reached on it. Yeah, reached on a fielder's choice and scored a run. So that is it as the Brewers win by a score of 3-2. to two. So let's take a look at the standings. So with the win, the Bruins are, Brewers are 3-4. and four, And the Athletics are now 3-2. and two. So that is it. So thank you. Let's take a look at this too, the one-run thing here. Uh, not much here, but that's kind of a cool little thing here, the one-run games here. So, all right, so thank you for joining me, Eric from Hire and Grow Gaming. Happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. And uh, we will see you in the game from April 14th there. Probably a little bit more of a selection, as it probably will be a full schedule. Take a look here. Take a look and see what it might be here. As you can see, only four games on this date. Maybe short and Holtzman, possibly. We already did Kuzman and Ellis at one point. Not against each other, but... Maybe we'll go with Rinko against Gibson, possibly. We'll see. So we'll see if there's any one of these games here that you would like to see um, 
from the 14th here, so it'll be this one, this one, this one, this one. Gee, Barbender, Barbender had a uh, bid had a bid for a no hitter last time. That one probably not a good pitching matchup there. It's 15 to 11. That one wasn't wasn't a bad matchup. This one was ended up being good too. So, or if you'd like to see Ellis and Kuzman, I suppose we could do that. That is probably the best on paper matchup there. I don't know, maybe we'll do that one. We'll see. Again, if there's anything you'd like to see from the 14th here, next I will do that when I get to it. So take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next replay. And again, remember to check out the. Uh, on the Delphi forums, uh, this replay is under um, HGG 1970 replay for MP3, uh, and also the Clinton Parks 1965, that's under Clint's 1965 replay for MP3, and also King Ikibu's 1980s replay. He's already in the 1983, so he's got a lot of a lot of box scores up there. Very interesting uh, the way he does it too, with all the highlights of the 80s that are going on, um, weekly highlights and stuff. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.